I am Pratham Shu and we are watching Pratham Shu Dev. In today's episode, I am going to introduce you to Mesh class in the senior end. So at first, what is the Mesh class? Mesh class is a class that allows you to create or modify meshes. If you don't know what a mesh is, then in 3D computer graphics and solid modeling, a mesh is a collection of vertices, edges and faces that define the shape of an object. Shapes usually consist of triangles, quadrilaterals, and polygons. But we are only going to use the triangles for today. Then let's just see some drawbacks which we can get while using the mesh without using the mesh class. So if you don't use the mesh class in norm in some big games, then we can get a huge FPS drop resulting in lag. This happens because of a lot of entities. You don't know what the entity is? Then an entity is a thing in the world and is the god class in the Sina engine. God class refers to everything in game is an entity, including the player, obstacles, enemies, etc. And but why does the lag happen? The lag happens because every entity takes up space in the GPU. GPU stands for graphics processing unit. But a mesh class takes up space almost of one entity but can do what a lot of entities do together. And then let's see how the mesh class works. The mesh class works like this. It takes two arguments, vertices and triangles. Vertices are the points where the mesh is supposed to be connected and triangles are to connect those points. Now let's understand the mesh class builder with an example. This example we are going to make a triangle with the help of the mesh class. So at first we will we are going to create a triangle like this with the help of the mesh class. At first we will need the position of the points. These three are the positions. These are in vector 3. You can if you are making a 2D mesh, you can use vector 2 as well. So as I have already listed the positions of them, we are going to use these three positions only. Then we will need to create an array for vertices. Example something like this with the, with the variable name and then blank bracket. Then we will need to fill that array with those points, these three points like this vertices equal to this is the first vector point, this is the second vector point, and this is the third vector point. After that, we will need to change those vertices sorry after that we will need to connect those vertices with the triangle array like this this is the triangle array we are creating triangle is a variable equal to and then it is calling these three things so this is 0 stands for this one 1 stands for this one 2 stands for this one if there was another one then you could just lift to 3 and so on Finally, call the mesh class with vertices and triangle arrays like this. Mesh and then vertices equal to the vertices variable and triangle equal to the triangle variable. And thank you everybody for watching. Bye bye.